Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Jump Light Odyssey. We're we're in a bit of a pickle. We've got some trouble. Thank you to everybody who's been commenting on the videos with just like your tips, things that you've run into, uh, bugs that you've encountered, all all the stuff. Re reading about it, it makes me feel less like I'm a screw up, and more like we're just figuring out how the game works, and that's fun. Um, so that's good. The other thing that happened, I don't know if, uh, you might not have seen it, but the, I did post a video about the, the patch notes that went live, the 0 0.1.1, .1, and there were some bugs that I think were affecting us that I wasn't aware of. Majorly, there was a bug that the people wouldn't go eat even if they were hungry and there was food available. I Granted, I don't think that was 100% of what the problem was. I think I was definitely running out of food, and I'm still running very low on food. But I, I, don't, I could see that contributing to our problems with hunger. The other thing that I think we were running into is the, the issue with prioritization and food hauling for the kitchens is people not actually like actively prioritizing making food and bringing stuff to the food stations because uh that that was just a problem and i think the more that the, the more we can focus on that the more that'll help we've got water coming back we're out of water by the way so that that's a, a problem <laughs> so i know that's an issue i know that we that uh some other people i think Mark might have commented on the beds. The bed situation is also pretty dire. We don't have enough beds to go around for our crew, which is making everybody tired and probably contributing to the fact that they don't want to eat and all that fun jazz. Uh, uh, yeah. So the ideal thing would be to replace all of our bunks. You failed at bringing back water. You guys were screwed. <laughs> we're screwed, you guys. No, it's okay. These guys have dropped off their water. We're going to launch them immediately in the other direction because we need to bring back as much water as we can while preparing to jump to whatever this situation is because we're going to skip over as much of the asteroid fields as we possibly can so yeah the problem is we don't have any plastic oh are we gaining plastic now we went from negative 17 to negative 16 is somebody doing their job <gasps> it's happened S Seiko you're a hero by doing your job. <laughs> a hero is any any person who does their job. Oh, man. That's great. Okay, so maybe if we can start punching plastic out, maybe we can start, uh, you know, getting our water up and running. We can get our bed situation sorted out. Hopefully the ships stop failing at their, send, uh, their water retrieval missions, and then that'll keep us floating a little bit longer. We're going to send you guys back out. For another resource extraction get out get out there do your duty we're gonna try and pull in as much water as we can because that's the you know that's the limiting factor we're running out of right now produce is still run it right in the 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 zero line which is not great we're bringing our metagel back up i think what was what was sucking our metagel down so far is that the more people we have starving, the more they just are losing health over time, and then eventually they end up in the med bay. So we're trying to keep our metagel working at the same time uh, by by just like punching biomass into there over time. Thankfully, we got all of our nuclear reactors up and running. They seem to keep be keeping our power at tip top, uh, and they don't use any biomass, so that's great. Number, I would recommend that be like one of the first things you swap out with your ship. Why is there just a lonely plastic living all by itself? This was something I, I do regret doing. Well, kind of. I kind of regret doing it. We're in a tight spot. It might have been necessary. But uh, we apparently the Starfighter, this this guy here, can actually be used to de uh, get rid of some of the asteroids coming in. I thought they were only for defending against the Zootopans. But when the asteroids come in and the asteroid belt system you can actually send that guy out on a sortie mission to kind of weed out some of the oh, i keep forgetting about that you can send that guy out to weed out some of the asteroids so when we del <laughs> when we deleted the 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 fighter i'm sure that drove some people a little nuts but we're also hurting for plastic once we get our plastic stores back up you know in a healthy position maybe we can come back and rebuild this guy uh, it takes 12 plastic to do 
But that would be good, because then if we do have to jump into an asteroid field, which I might... I'm kind of suspecting that last jump before the next the next biome, that might put us into a place uh, where, where a fighter would be very helpful. Got some more produce coming in. We just hit zero again, but the the wheat should be good. I've got some some helpful stuff that if we can get to a you know a better place, we could get uh, some of these better crops if we go down. Um, some of them use less water. Yes. So if we look at like potato crop, or or even uh, tomato crop, they're water efficient, which I assume just means they take less water. But we'd need this aeroponic. Or this egg, exotic seed bank, I think. Maybe not. Aeroponic seed bank? Exotic? Oh, maybe we only, we already have this guy. What are you? Oh, you're the expanded seed bank. Okay, so we would need to make an uh, an aeroponic seed bank. Um, but if we have the, the resources to do that, I think it would be worthwhile since <laughs> we're out of water again. But they did just come back. We're starting to get our plastic deficit under control. I think the bug that... We, we were running into a bug there as well, where you tell people to prioritize working on the fabricators, and they absolutely refuse for whatever reason. Um, I don't think we need to high, high priority this. We can. Uh, apparently you can try to kickstart it again by turning the power off and turning it back on. That can kind of work it out. So an, an extreme version is deleting the metal extractor, the, pla the plastic fabricator, and rebuilding it all over again to maybe get that working again. Um, but I'm hoping they just, you know, over time the developers will work out the, the bugs with the, the priority because not being able to send people out uh, or not being able to get people to do their job <laughs> is very frustrating. Okay, we're going to send you guys back out. Saren's still good to go. We're going to do another resource extraction. Get back out there. Get more water. Yes, perfect success. Two perfect successes on the water is great. We're at 174. I think this should kick us back up to even higher now that you're going to drop this off. Our starving people are starting to come back down, and then they jump back up. I take it all back. The hubris. They're har uh, good, good. The scientists are, are harvesting, harvesting that. I'm still not 100% sure how to fix this guy. I know I threw down a, this spacesuit here. I'm afraid to actually confirm it since we're still out of plastics and I'd need to get the water up and running. But, and, and I know some people were like, why did you put the suit there? Well, at the time, this entire room was vacuum. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's why. But now apparently, what the heck was, oh, I think the ship just took off. Uh, now apparently this is no longer under vacuum. Or maybe that because I sealed it off, it doesn't register as vacuum. We'll find out someday. Or maybe we won't. Who knows? Keep watching to find out. All right, we've gotten back up to about 400 water. We just sent out another ship. I think we're all out of water after... A uh, water availability after this. If we just go look at the mission board over here. Why can't I click on you? All right, we're going to go to the bridge. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is the game broken? Hold on. I can't click on anybody. This is a nightmare scenario. Uh-oh. I broke it. All right, hold on. I'm going to save real quick. We're going to reload. Got a manual save. Load? All right. Second bug, I've... Well, not second bug. I've definitely encountered more bugs. But the second time, I wasn't able to interact with anything. Pretty bad. Hopefully a quick reload fixes it. Otherwise, I might have to... Hope lost. Let's get in there. Go to the bridge. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I can click on that. That's pretty bad. Hmm. It's not my mouse, is it? No, I'm definitely clicking on other things. <laughs> uh oh. Alright, hold on.
And we're back. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> so I, I basically had to reload the entire game. Uh, I, I exited, reloaded, and it looks like that has fixed our clicking on issues. I don't know what I did. I angered the gods. I apologize to, to everyone. Um, but we're back. Okay, I just wanted to see the star map. I think is that what I was working on. But anyway, um, we're getting up. We're we're trying to gear up to get enough uh, jump light to jump all the way out here. We don't know what that is though. But we are recovering some of our plastic right here. Metagel's coming back up. Produce is doing okay. We're riding kind of the 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 lowest we can get on produce because we keep dropping to zero. Somebody's unhygienic. Well, we did run out of water for a bit, so that's that's understandable. Somebody also mentioned in the comments that you can only have four of these like danger indicators in the first place. So, but you can keep accumulating them. So we have one person in despair. One of them might be the robot, which I think is very funny that a robot can have despair. And that was actually something the developers pointed out is they're like working on how to fix that. <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm a total programming novice, so for me, I would just uh, type in despair equals zero, and uh, that would solve the problem, right? Oh no, I can't believe we never added power to our... to our water room here. Oopsies. Invalid build plan? Because the oxygen is floating in the... Why is it invalid? I don't understand. Do we have something else making this invalid? I don't know. Manage? I don't want to delete these two guys. Is blocking access to interactions or door? Which thing is blocking the ac access to the interactions? Is it the oxygen? Is it the power? What if I get rid of this? What if I get rid of this? Okay, so it's that guy. I don't know what it's blocking interactions to, because this room is built exactly the same. Can we try again? What if I put power here? No, invalid. Maybe it's because this isn't built yet? How about I move you? What if I move you to the... Nope. What if I move you here? Still invalid. Here? Well, that's very strange. Because how come it worked over here? Spacecraft is back. Well, we'll we'll look at you in a sec. Well, we need the power, though, to get you working. Why won't you work? Objects are blocking door to interactions. Is it, like, are you built weirdly? They're, they're arranged in the same orientation. Very strange. Well, I guess the worst case scenario is we delete that guy. Spacecraft is back. I think we're all out of water missions, though. So let's quick see how you do. Saren, you can come off the mission. You you deserve earned some some rest. I somebody on uh, one of my other videos commented like, "Why are you expecting some rest and relaxation? We're being chased by a, an enemy that wants to kill you." And I'm like, "See." <laughs> Invalid build plan. What's the invalid? All right, delete build plan. Maybe we just need to start over from scratch here. Right, that's very strange. Maybe they changed like how how the objects interact. But you think this one wouldn't work either? I don't know. I don't know, man. I just work here. Delete build plan. All right, we're just gonna leave it alone. Ready to jump? We should get out of here, uh, I think. Hold on, pause. Don't panic yet. Let's go to the hangar. All right, both shuttles are back. All right, we are all out of water to get, so we should jump. We don't really want to waste time uh, here because we only have 302 water and uh, it's a fast dwindling resource. Our plastic is coming back though. So as soon as our, I keep forgetting the pig, will never, will never be happy, but I'm hoping someday he will be happy and then this will be gone. 
but not like of my own doing. Anyway, <laughs> let's uh, let's jump here. Go to the bridge. Hold initiate jump. Take the ship to jump light. Hold on, everyone. Yep, hold on to your butts. I just watched Jurassic Park yesterday. Jump light in five. A great movie. Four. People three, still 18 two, people are starving. One. Have you guys stopped working? I notice sometimes priority just stops on its own. I'm not sure why. Maybe that's like after it's been prioritized. They're like, alright, it only needs to do. Alright, we are in an asteroid place again, so we are going to want to jump immediately. As soon as we can. To dang it. <laughs> are you even in range? You are? I was worried about that. But we're gonna get into the nebula here. I'm gonna go for this one. It's not too much further than here. Like, if we target this one, how far is that? 44? This one's probably 60, right? Yeah, it's exactly 60. So, you know, 16 extra jump light, we'll have to deal with some asteroid impacts, probably. Because we don't have a ship anymore. But, that's fine. Hopefully our gunners will, like, learn to aim. Or something. Ooh! New update! Personal terminal! It's not attached to the wall like it should be. But it's actually got got some uh, some art. Very cool. Same thing with the person the shift schedule. It's like a clock in, clock out, clock. Very neat. Good job, developers. That looks really slick, actually. It's very funny that the personal terminal is just floating, floating in the air. I like that. That's very funny. But uh, there you go. All right. Um. Oh, we're, while we're here, we should go down to the hangar. Do we want to send people up for some more metal? I kind of think we do. Let's do survey operation first. These people are all off duty, so let's swap you up for some people that aren't off duty. Uh, everybody's got a tank top on. Literally everyone is like, I can't be bothered. Why would I go out? It's not like we're going to run out of water or anything. <laughs> Explode and die, you know how that works. All right, you guys are ready to go. Let's go back. Send this crew out. And then, uh, unfortunately, there's no, like, general resource mission. I forget what that one's called. It's like, find scrap or something. Right, send both ships out. Have the, let them have a good time. Uh-oh. I think I did the thing where I broke the build button. I, I heard about this bug the other day as well. Where you can't, uh, you can't re-enter build after spamming the build button. And I'm like, I never do that. And then turns out I spammed the build button. Are you stuck, Jora? Oh, you're hauling. Good job. Well done. Hold on. Another pause. And we're back. Okay. We're dealing with all the bugs today. It's like a bug a bug fest up in here. Still awaiting resources. It needs two more plastic. We're down to negative four plastic, though. We're making progress there. I don't know if I can still... Or get the power into this room like I want it to. For some reason, it won't let me build here. Yeah, it's just invalid build plan. That's so strange. I don't know why that is. I almost wonder if we shouldn't like this corridor here. It's like extending out. Do we need it to do that? I have a wild idea. We're gonna reduce the size. We're gonna move some of this stuff. So you come here, just go like there. And then the same thing with you. Just gonna move these these chairs inward and then we're gonna shrink this room adjust room size oops there we go and then shrink this what's that little guy out there and then this room adjust nope not add object adjust room size 
Yeah! Okay, and then the same thing here. But just room sense. Cool, so now we have some bigger water rooms, and we didn't really need the corridors just, like, sitting out there like that. They don't really do anything that way. So let's unlock. Uh, shoot. Invalid build plan. What's invalid? What did I do wrong? Manage. Objects are blocking access to interactions or doors. Do we have to wait until... Delete build plan. Maybe we have to wait until they move the chairs. Let's move these chairs first. Maybe we'll move them here. So they're just like in the corner. Not blocking anything. They're invalid too. What the heck? Is it because like the hallway is too narrow? Wait, what about here? Still invalid. I'm very confused. I wonder if the the building is is a little busted right now. Well, this room is is kind of boned because it's not. If we can't get any power in here, it's not doing anything. So I wonder if I shouldn't delete this guy. That's also invalid. It's like anything I do to change a build plan makes it invalid, which is very bad. <laughs> In a game where you have to, like, build and rebuild things, not being able to build or move things seems like a really bad thing to have happen. Alright, we're slowly running out of water again. We're gonna be in a positive plastic situation soon. One short of plastic there, three short there. Our Metagel's coming back up. So maybe we pause on Metagel production again? Deactivate. And once you're done, how much longer do you have? Well, you have a ways to go. I'm just turning you up. Right, turn that off. We don't need we don't need extra meta gel. We have 27 right now. I'm a little concerned about the the inability to build things here. Okay, he's building that condenser at least, so that's something. I am pleased that the the, the polymer production is actually working. Spacecraft is back, that is great. We're building jump light. We have 10 out of 60. Good job, team. Survey operation is still on. That's funny to me that the resource extraction got back before the survey operation. So good job, team. I know what we can do to test out this build problem that we're having. What if we just come up here, like a place where it doesn't matter? And just like, what if I throw this down? Okay, that one ex that one's acceptable. So I must be doing something wrong then. Uh, delete this build plan. So let's go back and, uh, and uh, examine what we're doing here. So they're building this water condenser under construction. This one's mi missing just a little bit of stuff. What would we be blocking access to here? What if we just delete the seats? Like, I know they're kind of using them for... for resting and whatnot, but... it's invalid. So I'm gonna delete you. That's also invalid. Rooms disconnected from the power grid. This room? Because I've been trying to get it on the power grid for a very long time. So, uh, blocking interaction to doors. So what if we... Because that's where the door is, right? So what if we put it here? Still... Still invalid, though. Spacecraft is back. Good job. They don't want me to succeed. That is the only thing I can conclude from this. <laughs> Do we have to delete this whole room? That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, it sucks, but none of our water things are running anyway. So, like, why would that... That wouldn't really help. Ob objects are blocking access to interactions or doors. 
But there's not like really anything that's supposed to be interactable. Because they're all facing like this middle aisle here. Okay, he's bringing the thing. I'm hoping maybe if this gets built, maybe then we can fix it. Auto opens if both adjoining rooms disconnect from the power grid. The one that's really, really thrown me for a loop here is this one, where if I delete a seat, they're like, don't do that. Like here. It's like invalid build plan. And I'm like, they're blocking interactions to doors or rooms disconnected from the power grid. But I don't think that's true. I mean, this room is disconnected, but I think it's just, just broken. <laughs> Just staring at this this water room like why don't you work we're all gonna run out of water because you don't work we're one polymer short here we've reached zero on our our polymer shortage so that's a good thing we're still building jump light 20 to 60 we're a third of the way there to be able to jump to the next asteroid though we still have 48 ammo so we should be good from an ammunition perspective How far are we ahead of we are? We're 62 minutes ahead of the Zootopans. Like that was why I got rid of this the the shuttle ship is because we're so far of the Zootop far ahead of the Zootopans. Like I'm not worried about them catching me ever. At this point, now I'm worried about running out of like water and and stuff. Partly because I can't figure out why this room won't work. The other thing I'm thinking about getting rid of is the some of these water tanks. Like I know we'd want to keep the water tanks in the long run, to, to but right now we can't keep any of them full anyway. So I'm almost thinking it would be a good idea to delete uh, maybe just one of these. Although it's it goes back to the build problem again, where if it's an invalid build plan. I delete the build plan. And it's just in I don't know why it's invalid like that what if I just deconstruct this room I know I talked about that yeah that's still invalid so it won't let me do it that's rough because like this room is now effectively doing nothing. <laughs> and so I can't I can't build anything on this floor for some reason. Well, hopefully that's not functioning as intended. What if I add a water room here? Still an invalid build plan. Oh, it's over here. How long has that been there? Okay, so what's wrong with this room? The up and down. Oh, I see what's going on here. This is why you're not working. Is because, for some reason... It thinks this is... It's being blocked. Objects are blocking access to interactions or doors. What are the interactions? What if I move it over one? Is the shelf being blocked? It is. That's astounding. I, I am I am absolutely flabbergasted because it's also been like this for a really long time. I there must have been something in the update where they like changed how these storage racks interact with stuff, and they're like, doesn't work. Sorry. Oh, whoops. Well, I don't mind having another water room if we can actually get that to work. Now, this is really important though. Yes, now it works. Oh, we finally figured it out at the very end of the episode. <laughs> yes, I know. I know the the stuff isn't working. Actually, hold on. This is metal is not super important right now. Let us just delete this guy. Confirm. We'll come back and we will Atmosphere critical. What? Oh, cuz this shut off. Why did that shut off? Um... Oh, because we're out of water. Uh-oh. 
I didn't realize water was important for oxygen. We're, we're definitely boned. <laughs> I guess that kind of makes sense. You can't just make oxygen out of nothing. Hmm, and we're sucking up all the water for all of our, our biomass stuff. Is there anything we could shut off that doesn't need, that does take water? I really wish I had figured that out like long ago. Okay, they're rushing, they're rushing. Bringing stuff in. All right, atmosphere is in trouble. That's not great. But maybe we can get this stuff up and running. Definitely prioritize. And uh, if I can click on this other one here. Uh, prioritize, prioritize. Our princess is doing the job. We need to get oxygen or uh, water running on the ship, very important. And in fact, if uh, we're looking for things we can shut off, we have an oxygen generator somewhere around here. Yeah, here. You, we don't need you. Atmosphere is critical, yes, understood. <laughs> so, somebody died once upon a time? I don't know when that happened. Who knows? Long ago, it's not important now. Okay, cool. Well, let's pause the episode there. We're in a crisis. We've uh, we've run out of water again, and there's no more no way to get water. However, we got our water room online, and we're building another water room over here. So maybe we can pull out of this tailspin and save save the day. I know the atmosphere is critical. You've told me this many times. Um, but until next time, if you liked the episode, if it, you liked the excitement of me not knowing what I'm doing, click the like button. It helps out a lot. If you want to see more videos of Jump Flight Odyssey or my other series that I have going on, uh, subscribe to the channel. That also helps out a lot. But until next time, everybody, I hope we keep breathing, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!